dear all i would like to welcome you in the lecture series of power system protection in this video i am going to discuss what do we mean by protection of parallel feeders how to ensure protection on parallel feeders and ring main before beginning the session i request everyone to subscribe this channel and if you want to get the notification please click on the bell button let us get started first of all i would like to discuss about the importance of feeders anyway feeders are very important for uh, distribution side you know can you see the feeder line on the diagram these are the feeder lines it is very clear that uh, there are feeder lines see look at this so different feeder lines are available every type of uh, distribution system and at the beginning of generator side also sometimes you can able to see the feeders so feeder lines are basically made up of conductors a feeder line is a type of transmission line it is a part of a transmission line only uh, feeders are the power lines through which electricity is transmitted in power systems it is one of the very essential part of power transmission and also at the distribution side it is very essential feeders transmits power from either generating station or substation to the distribution points okay anyway feeders are very essential for the power generation system and the power transmission everywhere you can able to see the feeders it directs the power that is a major duty of feeders so now you can able to see the picture of feeder in the particular diagram how do you ensure the protection so we need relays what kind of relays are required so especially let us say this is a substation correct substation okay now what you do is uh, you can use the directional relay here here you can see a and b both are directional relay which is indicated by arrows double arrows bi directional relay okay it supports it uh, move uh, to and fro directional relay at the load side make sure that there should be a non directional relay okay this is a non directional relay so suppose if the power flow takes place from load to source then uh, the relays c and d is getting operated that point you have to remember okay so at the sending end side we need directional relay where at the receiving end side we need uh, non directional relay so this is the way how to ensure the protection uh, at the parallel feeders so these these are the different parallel to see how many feeders are there, there are two feeders which are connected in parallel likewise you have know, multiple parallel feeders regarding the ring mains ring mains also very important for uh, important segment of distribution system if i talk about the distribution system uh, ring main service main then uh, feeders are very essential segments now how to ensure the protection of ring mains look at that in that ring feeders are included in the ring mains each feeders required two relays and uh, one should be directional another should be non directional relay see a non directional relay is required at one end and the directional relay is required at another end that is must operating time of the relay are determined by considering what kind of grading is employed so this is actually the basic information about protection of ring mains so now you can able to see these are the ring main system okay look at this the distribute one one kind of one part of distribution side these are the in feed see in feed and uh, this is actually the out outward direction okay like with different area area one region two region three like way okay different feeders are uh, pl moving away uh, this will be the in feed uh, here what you are supposed to do is you can see the ki what kind of relays you are employing look at this so these are the directional relay okay and so everywhere you can see the direct uh, non directional relay and a directional relay like that so uh, this is actually the basic protection scheme of ring main system in case any relay is going to operate whatever i put the cross mark that is basically a relay actually okay so this is the way how to ensure uh, protection on the particular ring main system uh, in this video we have initially discussed about what is the importance of feeder why feeders are needed how do you ensure the protection on the feeder later we discussed about the directional and non directional relays where do we place the directional and non directional relay afterwards we just moved on to protection of ring main system okay how the how it uh, operates so these are the points we discussed in this session let us know 
uh, you can let me know if you are having any uh, queries you can put up in the comment box i am happy to answer so i would like to conclude the session uh, thank you very much for watching this video